Hello everyone, in this video we shall look into Firefox versus LibreWolf. Now which is better? In this video we shall look at the pros and cons of each for you to decide which is the best for you. Let's go ahead with the video. First, let's look into the Firefox. Let's look at the pros. Renowned for its responsiveness, Firefox delivers a smooth browsing experience even with multiple tabs open. Users can tailor the browser to their preferences with a vast array of customization options from themes to add-ons. A rich library of extensions enhances functionality, catering to diverse user needs and interests. Firefox seamlessly transitions across different devices, ensuring a consistent user experience. Backed by a large and active community, Firefox benefits from continuous development and improvements. But what are the cons? Let's have a look. While Firefox has enhanced privacy features, some users might find its default settings insufficient for stringent privacy needs. Firefox can consume significant system resources, especially when handling numerous tabs or demanding websites. Firefox's built-in tracking protection might not be as robust as dedicated privacy-focused browsers. Over time, Firefox might accumulate unnecessary features and extensions impacting performance and privacy. As a Mozilla product, Firefox development is influenced by the organization's priorities, which might not always align with user preferences. So how does LibreWolf compare? First, let's look at the pros. LibreWolf prioritizes user privacy with aggressive tracking protection and anti-fingerprinting measures. Optimized for performance, LibreWolf often outperforms Firefox in terms of speed and resource efficiency. LibreWolf offers even more granular customization options than Firefox, allowing users to fine-tune the browser to their specific needs. LibreWolf benefits from a dedicated community focused on privacy and security, ensuring continuous improvements. LibreWolf's open-source nature promotes transparency and accountability, building trust with users. Now let's have a look at the cons of LibreWolf. Due to its focus on privacy, LibreWolf might have compatibility issues with certain add-ons. As a fork of Firefox, LibreWolf has a smaller community, which might impact support and resource availability. Being a relatively new browser, LibreWolf might encounter occasional bugs or stability issues. LibreWolf's focus on customization might require a steeper learning curve for users unfamiliar with advanced browser settings. LibreWolf might lack some pre-installed features found in Firefox, such as built-in password managers or syncing capabilities. So which is better? LibreWolf emerges as the clear winner for users who prioritize absolute privacy and control over their browsing experience. Its aggressive tracking protection, lightweight performance and customization options make it an excellent choice for privacy-conscious individuals. However, Firefox remains a strong contender for users seeking a balance of speed, performance, customization, and a vast ecosystem of add-ons. Its established reputation and strong community support ensure a reliable and feature-rich browsing experience. Ultimately, the best browser depends on your individual needs and priorities. Consider your browsing habits, privacy concerns, and technical expertise to make an informed decision. Well, I hope that you have found this video helpful. See you guys next time.